right okay good morning so everything <laughs> open uh, terribly down yesterday uh, today actually yesterday in Singapore market we already cannot work so some people say wow how come it's affected uh, because of the US job numbers it's because the US job numbers was very amazing so everybody say that oh the red card is gone idea no more red card okay so Hang Seng deep uh, to one half percent it's not a lot uh, to me okay so my portfolio today uh, drop one percent okay I am not super affected because I am uh, very diversified you all know lah uh, I am very diversified one percent for me is really quite huge though right so what does that mean and what do I think about it so as usual we are still in an upwards momentum we look at the charts and we see that we are still in an upwards momentum both of the moving averages are sloping up 50 ma is on top we are still in an uptrend the uptrend hasn't been broken yet so uh, a lot of you say oh don't buy first uh, don't buy the I think it's useless to time the market right so in fact if I look at these uh, there are certain stocks that are worth buying now right for me I saw this and like okay wow this some stocks is really damn nice to buy so where are the support points uh, Robert where are the support points so very simple just take a flip as usual right so the first flip uh, was broken before came back then now break again okay so now we are back to the second FIB low, right? Second FIB is about 17,800. Okay, so that is the next resistance. Now, this is going to be quite strong, the 17,800 one, because it coincides with the 50 MA, right? The next resistance would be 17,400. Okay, and the next one, okay, to me, I think will be here. 17,200. So 17,200, 17,400. It has good resistance. You see the three peaks here. Okay, there are three peaks here. So I'm gonna I'm gonna mark them out lah. Okay, I'm gonna mark them out with the horizontal lines, and uh, these are the resistance. So they must be, uh, they must look nice and peaceful. Okay, one is here somewhere here, right somewhere there, and uh, yeah, I guess the last one should be somewhere here. So I already marked the remaining uh, resistance for you already. Okay. Uh, shouldn't have done that again I shouldn't have done that again okay so the resistance uh, I think uh, is not much left lah. one two or three so uh, what do I think I, I actually think uh, Hong Kong market is more volatile so it should come down lah. Okay, this one I already told you all. Uh, uh, don't discount any possibility of this coming down to 17,200. Uh, roughly there. Okay, I did mention before. There's possibility it may come down here. So I think uh, supports, uh, they are quite powerful supports uh, all over. Okay, 17,400. So will it come down there? I don't know. You don't ask me. Okay, I, I think this one was too premature. The market nobody buy because it was too premature. <laughs> At the end of the day, nobody will buy if it's too premature. The 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 the, the thing, okay. Uh, it has to bounce lah. I think in a nice, uh, very powerful resistance. It's like the spring not strong enough to push it up. So I think it must go down, gather some power here, then it goes up. Bam, right. So for me, I believe this will go down to at least maybe seventeen thousand five hundred. That's my tag. I guess uh, I'm guessing okay so am I prepared not well the drop today made me lose one percent drop a bit more you think I will lose how much will I lose not much lah huh? so yeah I'm not really uh, I'm not really how do I say uh, you all know I'm very diversified right okay yeah okay, I'm very very diversified okay and I don't trade and I don't risk my capital a lot so what to buy right well there's a lot of things to buy you can buy 9988 i think this is cheap uh 823 
link real estate is cheap right um let's take a look at EIE uh, uh, EIE group EIE uh, you all want to buy EIE I, I heard some of you want to buy EIE but then AIE IIE is quite not I I think this one can buy a bit lah EIE already touching the second feet ma. 55 maybe around there can buy a bit lah so AIA I think this support actually managed to hold lah, the 50 MA support okay AIA is still in the downtrend though okay I would actually wait until the second one then to buy second or third lah, fifth then to buy okay. so AIA is very disappointing I also don't know why it keeps falling until so low the rebound takes so long 10 cents this is a solid one lah. very hard to fall down it's very well defended lah. Okay, so let's take a look at 3067 uh, ETFs first. Okay, I always take the ETF. So, this is ETF that I own. Uh, okay, uh, now this one I never expect to keep dropping. Uh, okay, so this one I am actually a little bit shocked. Uh, okay, so now it touches the 50 MA. Uh, okay, it touches the 50 MA. Okay. But uh, we, I believe that, of course, there is nothing impossible. I still believe that, you know, it might come down even more. Lah. So this one, I think the most bottom scenario for me, I think, is going to touch about 7.5. Okay. But I already said, uh, oh, there's a lot of support here. This is a very strong support here. Uh, one peak here and 150MA here. Here also 150MA uh, here. Very close, 7.57. The lowest is about 7.5, right? So, they are very close to very strong support points. Lah. Okay. So, this one, lowest, I think, is going to be about 7.5. Okay. My guess, huh? 7.5. So, you must be prepared for that drawdown, low. right? You know, Robert style is very pessimistic. Always be prepared for the direct drawdown, right? So, this is when I'm going to buy. Lah. If you ask me, Robert, when are you going to buy? Here, look. Right here, I'm gonna buy some. Okay, now uh, today I bought uh, my favorite stock, uh, Hang Long, and the reason why is very simple, because I already have a lot of Ling Read. Uh. It's not that I don't like Ling Read. I already have a lot. Okay, so I want to make Hang Long my secondary position. I already said that it was better than the Swire. Uh, let's do a refresh so that it looks nicer. Okay, so okay. Then Hang Long is a very simple stock, right? It just keeps falling down. So you just want to buy these at uh, the support points. Now it's 6.97. Maybe you want to buy 6.8 uh, around there. Okay, so maybe 6.85 uh, is a nice place to buy. Lah. So I bought today this at 7.09. I can't always get the best price. Lah, okay, but I think uh, this is quite low really. I can buy this really. I feel that I can buy this really, so I bought this uh, today at uh, this one. So am I going to buy again 6.97? 7.09, I bought really somewhere here, right? So I think, like, oh, no need. Lah. Just relax. Lah. The next one is here, lo, the next buy, right? Then the next buy would be about uh, 5.65. Then the next buy would be uh, 4.6, okay? So why am I not scared? Guys, the asset is still earning money. You all understand, no? the asset is still earning money. This guy is not going bankrupt. This is just fear, right? Just fear, uh, irrational fear of the market. Okay? In fact, if you lose so much, uh, maybe I'll buy some more. La. This one I can buy a bit more, la, the Hang Long. I already uh, exchanged 10,000 uh, US dollars. Uh. I'm going to keep whacking Hang Long today. Uh... Yeah, I, 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 I don't think it should be worth that low, you know. This is so cheap that I'm willing to take, yeah. So I, today I send some money, I nothing to do, I, I bo kang to all, uh, I send some money here, uh, 6.91. Wow, this is very nice price. Very delicious for me to eat. I'm going to keep eating, you know. So I'm going to buy some more. Yep, just bought 6.91, 2000. Okay. So, if I look at this, uh, why, Robert, why are you still buying? Uh, you sell? Uh? 
Oh, now there's something wrong with you, man. It's, it's, it's not that low. It's just that the dividend is about 11% now. Let's say, um, yeah. You know, every time, okay, somebody said this today. Oh, but you know, uh, every time the, the, the dividend come out, uh, the, the thing lose money, blah, 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 blah. Okay? Somebody said that. Okay? Is that true or not? For this? Yeah, of course. Uh, well, how? Why? You all never think of it. <laughs> it's because of the lease, right? The lease is going to expire, what? Okay? Uh, later, I'm going to... If you want me to teach you, can. Uh, but then... Uh, you must have an open mind. Uh. Sometimes I quite lazy uh, when they try to teach. Then after that, they don't have open mind. So the lease uh, is... At, okay, it's like... Let's say you have 10 a building. Uh, the lease is 10 years. Uh. In 10 years, the lease is going to expire. Okay? Now, the usual case is you can extend it for you pay maybe about 10 to 20% of the... In Singapore, I heard uh, just now, I saw Keith... Right, he said, oh, you pay about 16% of the building cost, right? Then you can extend it for 30 years, which is actually damn amazing. Huh? 30 years for 16% of the building cost, right? Okay, so it's basically like leasing the land. Huh? You, you, you go and borrow the land, but it's to be approved by the government, right? So if the thing don't have a lot of money left, huh? okay, not a lot of lease life left, huh? okay, then the DPU is, uh, is uncertain, the continuation of the DPU is uncertain. That's why uh, you see those uh, uh, le uh, le uh, REITs uh, with very low, uh, like a, uh, very low lease life remaining. Uh. That's why they, they depreciate very fast. Uh. The, the, the moment they come out the, the, the dividend, uh, they depreciate. The moment they come out the dividend, uh, they depreciate. Hey, why is that? Uh? Okay. Because it's not counted inside the DPU, right? It's not counted inside the DPU, right? <laughs> if you think about it, okay? It's actually depreciation, but the depreciation excludes DPU. You understand not? Okay? So actually, to me, I think the distributable income uh, should be, okay? Uh, minus uh, the least depreciation, uh. The building, uh, the building, uh, the building, DPU uh, should actually take into account the building depreciation. Uh. They never take into account the building depreciation. That's why uh, they, they, they never that one. Okay. So, Robert, you buy really, you really buy. Uh. Don't tell me you bluff us. Uh. Uh, let's see, you all don't believe. Uh. See, I bought 2000, uh, 6.91. It's not KCL one, uh. I buy again a uh, 7.09. Oh, I know I have a case uh, the IB trading assistant give me. Uh. Okay. So I, 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 I do the thing uh, is I don't bluff you one. Uh. I, I really buy one. Okay. I not like a lot of people, they just talk. Then they want to pump up the stock. Then after they sell their stock. No, uh, I really buy the stock, man. Okay. I really buy. I really got balls to buy. I not case you all. Uh. Not I how the end. Oh, Robert got money to buy. Come on. Uh. Please don't be stupid. Okay, it's only 2,000, uh, 2000 uh, lots. But I'm, sh this, I'm showing you the method, right? Okay. So, Pixel Princess, I see her uh, very poor thing, right? Oh, very depressed like that. Then the market go down already, no money, right? Why? Because the sizing is wrong. The way she do sizing is very wrong. Okay. I started uh, investing or trading, uh, ever since when Google first came out when I was in college. Uh, that was many years ago. So when Go before Google IPO, I already uh, trade or invest. Okay? I don't want to howl to you all. So you say, concentrated portfolio, one stock portfolio, I also do before, not the first time. Okay? Concentrated portfolio, I do before. Huh? Five stocks portfolio, I also do before. Okay. Uh, yeah, okay, so 3067 already done. I don't want to talk too much here. 
Lingrid. You notice Lingrid kana wet like kana saya, okay? But eh, it's not like the Fed is going to raise the interest rates, leh. So the way the market is acting is as though the Fed is going to raise the interest rates. They are not going to raise the interest rates, and I think. Uh, a forward dividend yield of about uh, 7.82 It's okay lah I, I, I don't find it uh, very uh, uh, Yeah So 7.8 No, no, it's 2.65 right So the, if, if the dividend is really 2.65 divided by 32.55 then the dividend is about 8%. 8 8% 8 is okay. La. Why is everybody so uh, so negative uh, on Ling Rit? I also don't know. Right now we come to Prudential. Uh. Uh, this is Prudential PLC. This one I think the same as before. I still see a downwards momentum. And yeah, I still see a downwards momentum, not really any respite yet, lah. But I think it's gonna come. Uh, break is gonna come for them, maybe around forty nine or fifty around there. Uh, if you want to play this, uh, you gotta wait for a breakout. If you want to long this, uh, you gotta break out of this uh, downwards uh, spiral. Uh. This downwards channel, you gotta break out. So for for me to buy a uh, prudential, uh, is to break out at least uh, of uh, 82 around here 83, 84, 83.5 okay then uh, if you ask me Robert is the is it low enough to buy uh, Prudential okay so I don't know how to value this properly but I am I can only mark the strong support for you which is about 67, 68 around there okay so actually, you are buying this close to 2012 price, uh, which is crazy, man. 2011, 2012 price. Okay, so you are buying this about very close, uh, very close to IPO price. Uh. I think this is one of the best times uh, uh, for you to buy uh, all these stocks now. Uh. Okay, you won't get a lot of opportunity to to collect this kind of uh, very powerful uh, stocks, you know. Okay. Prudential, the brand is so foul already. I think in Indonesia, the, the three best is uh, Alliance, Prudential, and one more is... Uh, AIA is not anymore. AIA got kicked out. I forgot the last one is what? Uh. Uh, yeah, I forgot the last one. Eh. So, end of story, am I buying Prudential or not? I think now can buy a bit lah. If you don't have prudential yet, now can buy a bit. I thought it was on the breakout here, you know. But never break out, force break out, fall down again. Bloody hell lah. But the wedge is still forming lah, this one. The wedge form, but then many different. Sometimes you play here, play at the bottom, play here. But if you take the middle wedge ah, we think that 63 is the worst you can go lah. Okay, the worst you can go is to say that it's going to start to rebound maybe. I think this is quite close, huh? but you got to be ready for a 10% drawdown huh? if we buy pro now. So now it's a chance huh, actually to go back in the insurance stocks and all that. Huh? Okay, it's very interesting huh, when I look at this. Wow, prudential. Huh? Wow, this is not good. Huh? When I see this, uh, if it breaches to that, that means it's going to go back here. So if I'm going to buy this, uh, I'm going to buy this at uh, somewhere around 60, uh, 67. Uh. My buy point for Subreaction will be about 67. Uh. Okay. Prudential, my buy point is 67. And uh, somebody asked me to make Kingsoft. Okay, Kingsoft. Kingsoft. Kings of the hell is Kings of
if I'm not doing it called wrongly. I think King Saudi is the manufacturer of the office and the other office. King Soft Ticker Hong Kong Exchange. King Soft Ticker Hong Kong Exchange. Three eight eight eight. Okay. So I think um, he's talking about this stock. So this stock. Sideways movement, uh. very uh, long time really sideways movement, never never really uh, gotten away to break up from the sideways movement, okay. So, right now, uh, it's trading at uh, the, mid, the mid lane, uh. so this is showing some kind of signs, is a, is a golden cross, okay, but um this is a golden cross from a downward sloping uh downward sloping uh 150 moving average okay now we want this to start sloping up okay so if you want to pick the golden cross okay you want to i think uh this is the golden cross happen already now it comes down i think you can buy uh, this one I think you can buy it. There was this momentum it had going right around here. Okay. And the momentum somehow got broken. Okay. Now it's down here, but it's being held back by the uh, 50 moving average. Okay. Can you buy this? No. I think can buy. If it does fall, you can start buying. King Soft. It looks good to me. I remember this one, they make some office program, right? Which is not bad. Lah. Oh, I remember this guy. Uh, yeah, I guess if you like this kind of stuff, then you go ahead and buy. Lah. So, remember, this has to be flat. Huh? One of these has to be flat. One has to be rubbing up. Then for this to be upwards momentum. I look at it as a trade. This looks not bad. Lah. Where would I take profit? Somewhere here, I'll take profit. Huh? Uh, 34 is where I'm going to take profit. 34, 33 is where I'm going to take profit. Get out of this stock. Because the resistance is very high here. Okay. So I want to get out before it touches uh, this one. Uh. So I want to get out 34 there. Okay. So there's a lot of uh, stuff going on here at this 33. 32, 33, 32 can start already uh, taking profit. Okay. So this is a buy for the upwards momentum. But upwards momentum broken. Uh, this is normal. Uh. Okay, so I think a lot of people is asking, can this make that cup and handle pattern? Not, mm, it's not really a cup and handle pattern because it's, there's no flatness below. Okay, you are just waking. You are just you just want the uh, the golden cross pattern. Uh, make it go up, then it's gonna go back up. So I think this is a drop buy trade. Uh. Okay, what's a stop loss? <laughs> Stop loss is pretty obvious. Uh. It's very below the 100, uh, 150 MA, just a little bit below. So if this is 24, okay, uh, 0.3, you want 23, lah, let's say 23.2, right, somewhere here. That is uh, where you're going to stop your loss, okay, for Kingsoft. It's a trade, uh. this is a trade, not an investment, okay. Ten cents. Very resilient, very powerful. This is one of the most powerful stocks in China. Um, it defines uh, a lot of indexes in China. It seems to be going sideways. Uh, okay, when I look at it, it's not going because it went up too fast. It seems to be going sideways now. Okay, what do I think about this? Uh, very sidewaysy. Okay, very sidewaysy. And um, if we pull this down, uh, it looks like it's going. It's been going sideways from here. Da, 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 da. So actually, yeah, uh, if it goes up a bit more, let's say around here, maybe you know, we can take some profits really, a bit of profits, right? Ten to twenty percent of our portfolio, right? Because it's nearing this uh up upper upper boundary, right? Okay, if we believe the sideways pattern, we can sell some. Then later, if it does go down, we can buy low. Okay. You understand what I mean, huh? 
I think yeah, I think ten cents is actually you can take some profits lah. You can take some profit if it does go down. Then you know ah uh, okay. Okay, so next is um, Alibaba. I do so many times. I I don't want to do anymore. You already know the 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 the, the play that I want. But okay, let's do it again. Ah uh, yeah. So Alibaba same pattern ah. Uh, uh, except now uh, is near the 50 MA and the 50 MA. Nothing has changed. The trade is still on. Okay, the trade is still on. It's just gonna take a while to play out. So the trade is still on. Relax. Okay. So this one haven't even breached the second uh, Fibonacci curve. So I think I don't know why everybody is freaking out, right? So it has to at least uh, for the Hong Kong index uh, 73. Yeah. Uh, so. It has to go down to 73 before I say, oh, the trade is off. Bye-bye. Run, 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 run. Okay. Run away, run away, run away. Ciao, ciao. Okay. So, from 76 to 73, is only 3.25. Relax lah. Right. Everybody starts to freak out. Don't worry. You you, you all later see, uh, I buy the 101. I buy the, I, I, I'm going to buy, I might buy Link Read also. Link read the result is amazing, man. But then everybody is telling it down. That is the stupidest thing I have seen in my whole life. It's so stupid that I want to laugh. Uh. Okay, if I don't have a lot of ring read, I'll be buying ring read. I already have a lot of ring read, so I'll, I bought Hang Long. Okay. Uh, I bought ring read, and uh, my cost price is about thirty four. You know, I have uh, calls sold on it, right? For two dollars, uh, strike price thirty five. Okay, uh, so I I I I lose a bit uh, I lose a bit of money uh, but it's okay uh. Okay, I'm not very uh, yeah, I'm not very scared. Okay, I bought put option also at the bottom. Okay, so this trade I already uh, mentioned many times. Okay, it's a it's a normal trade lah, but it's not gonna yield you a lot of money lah, a lot of returns lah. Okay, so for those of you who do this kind of trading, uh, buy and call options and all that lah, you are limiting your gains lah. Okay. JD, JD is the one that I want to look at next. So, Hong Kong market actually I got a lot of content inside. I realize. So JD. Is starting to jut out from the channel again, uh, JD, huh? Notice not. Okay. Not only that, uh, it's playing around the 50 moving average. Uh. Okay. It tries to go down, uh, but then it pushes itself back up. It's like, it's like a bear trap. Uh. So this 50 MA is acting like a very, uh, very powerful. Uh, what do you call this? Uh? Uh, very powerful. Uh, It's a bit hard to, to describe, but it's like acting a very powerful support. Yeah. Okay. It's acting like a very powerful uh, support. Uh. So, yeah, I think this one also uh, is a. I think it's a possible buy. Uh, right? If they can manage to close beyond, beyond this uh, later, uh, I think, um, you know, maybe you can invest in it. Uh, but you are the lower end of it. So this one maybe is a bet lah. It's a gamble lah. We are gambling for a cup and handle. Okay. Is it gonna form? I don't know. Okay. You see the market lah. Later if the market they do rebound lah, that means ah, there's a lot of buyers ah, coming in, stampeding inside the Hong Kong market. If we don't see it rebound ah, that means a lot of buyers exiting there. So what do I think about this uh this whole thing? Well. Uh, we already valued the stocks uh, fundamentally and if you look at the whole thing or whatever I valued you already have the valuations right for from you just write it down lah. okay just write it down and then you know when to sell uh, roughly give or take the valuations act as a benchmark lah. it doesn't it's not 100% accurate lah. Test it for uh, this morning's uh, update. Uh. 
evening maybe let's see again how the thing works